morning. Well, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, this is my breakfast nook. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, it has the sun coming in this morning. And I've got my airplane plant here. And I don't know if you can see, but it's putting on a little baby. See? So he'll be reaching out for the sun. And I probably need to get a little bench or something where you can sit a little higher so the baby can hang down. Yeah, I'll try to find a little box to put here on the table. Over here is my little yellow plant. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see if we can turn it a little bit here. You can see my little yellow plant that blooms yellow blooms. Well, right now it's not blooming because I we've had some cloudy days here. But as soon as uh, the sun stays out long enough, then uh, she will be blooming. And of course, you know, my uh, shamrock is starting to bloom a little bit again sunlight through this window really helps but on cloudy cold rainy days nana <laughs> i'll have to clean her up a little bit on the bottoms because she's beginning to give way to some and that connor put this honey up in the picture morning connie what are you doing on my table you know you're not supposed to be on the table. Turn, get, turn around here and go down. Go down. Go on. Go down. Go get down. Go on. Yeah, he thinks that I'm talking to him, so he comes up on the table, and he's not allowed on this table. No. So anyway, if you can see over there, I don't know if you can. The little yellow flower is continuing to bloom, which really surprises me. That it does, but can you see the sun coming through there? And look here at my little beets. They're pretty. Yeah. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this philodendron over here. It's beginning to go crazy. Can you see it over here at the other side? Let's see if I can turn it like here. You probably can't see it. Taking over everything. I'm gonna have to do some ropes or something to extend her. If you can tell here, if you can tell. See, she's growing up here. They're growing up over the up here out of the sun really but she thinks she's reaching for the sun but she's beginning to give way grow and expand I guess I could loop them through some of these pictures like that maybe see how I did that I put her through the little picture frame here. And then all these others. <laughs> here, you want some? <laughs> I'll send you some cuttings. Anyway, here they are. I'll try to put them over there. This little bird feeder thing. Can you see it right here? Right here. It's got little bitty birds in it. Okay, they're not real, of course. Here, any kind of noise makes them uh, chirp. A lot of people, when they come, they keep looking for these birds, <laughs> and I tell them they're just little wood birds in this little cage. 
One uh, Donnie's little son, grandson comes over, and he hears them, and he searches, and he looks, and uh, it's funny because he knows where they are, but he'll look for them every time he comes over. And he said, "I love them. I got it at a little, I guess it was a garage sale up in Hardy, uh, and the lady was closing her house down to move to where her children were." Anyway, I got that for a quarter. I have enjoyed it. I've had it for 12 years. still love it. Still do. But I like the sound of birds. Some people drive them crazy. I like the sound of cuckoo clocks and uh, chimes. I enjoy those sounds. But a lot of people do not. Over here, look at this. Remember this little plan I started? Look at it. That's that wandering Jew. Isn't that amazing? Remember the one I just stuck it in the corner of that <coughs> that orange plant that Susie gave me. And the thing took off. Look at it. Yeah, it took off. It'll be beautiful when in the in the summer when it blooms. It's gonna be a purple color. I hope you can see my video here. I'm trying to. I'm using a tablet this time that it's harder for me to see what's going on. But anyway, I heard something different the other day and I was very upset about it. And I guess it was on Facebook or something. And it was about this girl who, duh, went blind. Now, why I say duh. It's because the reason she went blind is she tried to tattoo her eyeball. A teenager. I think I'll tattoo my eyeball. <laughs> now think about it. How dumb is that? And now she's blind. Duh. Who was her mom and dad? We're her sisters and brothers. <laughs> Talking about families. Lack of family support. And guidance. <sighs> Poor child. She'll have to live the rest of her life. Not being able to see flowers, birds, sunlight. Read a book. Maybe even see her first child. And she'll live probably 70 years or 80. Missing all of the beauties that God has provided to us on this earth. Because she wanted that tattoo on her ear. ear I mean, eyeball. I pray and pray for our generation now. And I wonder... What is going on? Where? What is going on? Anyway, that is about all I have to talk about today. But I did want to let you know that I'm getting ready to go to Goodwill. Susie's going to pick me up and we're going to Goodwill. And maybe go and get a little snack. And uh, since today's Saturday and the sun is shining, uh, it'll be a, a nice adventure. Uh, I had a really nice one yesterday. My sister surprise called me and took me to lunch. Oh, we went to a new Thai restaurant. And you know I'm all about the food. <laughs> but we had a really great time. Well, I'm going to let you go because I have to get dressed because she said it probably be after 10. And uh, I hope you have a great day. And uh, praise God for everything. And remember that someone bigger than us, smarter than us, is holding us in his hand. And if you're hanging between two figures in his hands, you grab up there and get in that hand, okay? <laughs> All right. Have a great day. And remember, God loves you.